And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, boy. It's the last live show of the week. It's the last live show for a, for a week. For a week. Because we're going to be uh, going You just scared the week. shit out of me. I thought you were going to be like, this is the last show forever. I'm like, it happened? Here's, what was it? What did fu- us in? We got fired momentarily. Was it uh, the- Moments ago. Oh, no. Um... It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM95. I'm Big J. Ocris, and that's Dan Soder. Oh, fidgety and scared now. Oh, fidgety nut nuts. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's the last week. We're off next week. I'll yeah. be on Ship Rock. You're going on Ship Rock, which you leave for on Sunday? I leave for, well, I leave for South Carolina tomorrow. I go from South Carolina to Orlando. Four ship rocks on Sunday, which who are the I bands? Who are the bands this year? It's actually a good lineup this year. I'm actually pretty excited for the lineup for the fir- for the first time in a while. Actually, there's always something great. Gonna, there's always great shit on it. I'm going to do the year, thing where the guy, where your friend asks the, for a band that's not there, so now it just ruins it. Where I goes, is Tool going to be there? <laughs> yeah, no, no. But I, did I tell you the other thing? Yeah, you did tell me about Rock on the Range. You're doing Rock on the Range this year, same night as Tool. That's great. That's fucking off. But there you go. Look, Stone Sour. See, they're in this moment that, uh, in this moment, if you're, familiar, POD! if you're familiar with, they're great. If you're familiar with Legion of Skanks, uh, in this moment is the theme song for Legion of Skanks. All right. Uh, welcome to the gun show. She's awesome. It's uh, Mall Maria, Rock. Maria Brink, Christine? <laughs> Maria Brink? Brinks. Brinks, maybe Maria Brinks. She's a awesome uh front lady. But Stone Sour, I, I feel mean, like this Stone whole... Sour is Corey Taylor, man. That's huge. Yeah, I uh Shiprock seems to me like people who are on it have priors but not felonies. Um oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, what's up, man? Yeah, I got in a desktop outside of a bar in fucking ninety nine and I broke a dude's fucking nose. No, it's all garbage people like me, but it is the oh, I love that for that reason. It is, it's but it is because it's not cheap. And it sells out quick. It's a uh, highbrow garbage. Yeah, top, high of, top of the heap garbage. Yeah, highbrow is even the wrong term. It's like a guy who just loves metal, mm-hmm. but he just has a super successful landscaping company he owns. Yeah, and operates. So he just makes tons of. It's like guys like that. And I'll tell you what. Uh, some real lifelong fans I've made off of Shiprock, surprisingly. Man, there's people who come to a lot of stuff well, who dude, know I think me you guys, from Shiprock. You and Legion of Skanks, I think that's like, I mean, you, you even said it. One of the bands is your guys' theme song. So, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is perfect. And friends are people we see every year that we end up hanging out with on the boat. Yeah. Dwayne and uh, and his wife. I great know, name. Great name, name, name to lead with. <laughs> Dwayne great. right off the bat. Dwayne's a, uh, I love he he's like a military trainer or something yeah. like that. He's awesome. Oh, I bet that, yeah. If that Shiprock, if something happened to that. Like pirates? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I bet that would be a cruise that could fight back. Shiprock, though, is the one. That's where they had the guy get arrested in the front of the stage. <laughs> they brought him They brought him to his room so he can get some stuff before they put him in the brig for the rest of the weekend. That's great. And when they brought him to his room, they have to let him privately go into his room. They sort of have to do that, I think. He went is that his, maritime law? I don't know, maybe. But he went <laughs> maritime law. You can never let him. He went on his. He went on his balcony, climbed around... Uh, several other balconies, and went in, until he found an open door. Went in someone's room, went out there. Other thing, the you know the cops quote unquote lost him. Yeah, and then they found him 15 minutes later. Where? Right back on the front, <laughs> right back in the front of the stage. <laughs> like they found him right Seriously? there again. Yeah, and they just arrested him. And by that time, it's great. By, the way, wait, they, by they... the way, he fought the cops the first time, <laughs> and then when they called him the second time, he went all ah, right. Man. And he put his hands behind his back like. They said the second time he pleasantly was like, all right, you got me. That's right. That was during, but it may have been motorboat because I think that was during suicidal tendencies and I think that was a motorboat. Um, are we going to a private island, Christine? It says Half Moon K. I, 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 I don't have an enemy to go to Sex Island. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. You well, do it. But uh, Stone boat. Sour's Corey Taylor, man, that's a big deal. That he's in that boat. Yeah. So it's so funny. Ralph texted me today. This made me laugh because, and Christine got it right away. I was very worried about uh, blood diseases. No, no. no. Uh, oh. Getting on this boat on okay. Sunday, taking off. Usually they have to take off around like four or five o'clock. The boat starts setting sail. Yeah. That's when they say the boat's having its first one. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they You're talk on, on Ship Rock. Like, yeah. They're knocking back the first one. Yeah. Guys, you guys got 60 minutes. It gets uh, it gets a little dicey, uh, the television service out there, and I want to watch that Eagles game at 630. Oh, shit. So I'm worried, so I, I asked Ralph. It's a championship game, and you're going to be on the boat. I know, but I asked Ralph. I go, the can bait? you see it <laughs> on the boat? I said, can you find out if they're airing this game on the boat? Please tell me they're putting this game. Yeah. 
and they're going to have it on the boat. He goes, I assume they will. It's like a pretty big deal, I guess. And then, by the way, I've watched the Super Bowl on Shiprock. Oh, then, yeah, you'll be fine. But, no, that was like an event that they were showing the Super Bowl. So he goes... Dude, it's the NFC Championship game. It's not like it's week a big deal. 12. It's a big it's deal. It's not a week 12 Monday Night Football it's game. It's a big deal, and people who were into this music, there's going to be a lot of Eagles yeah, and Vikings fans. On, and what, you You're know. not on jazz waves. <laughs> you're yeah, not on yeah, like yeah. a classical cruise where it's just all fucking Mozart. People are like, that's barbaric. Oh, God. No, these guys, wanna, just... these guys absolutely want to... Uh, and I'm wearing a full wardrobe of Eagles jerseys on this boat. There might be... And I'm not going to lie, man. Metal does invite a lot of bearded people possibly from minnesota and so you might oh. see a lot of purple oh without a doubt it's gonna be a lot of purple and I they're think all lot, polite they're I usually think, nice. i think a lot of philly too but here's the thing <coughs> uh ralph i ralph said he'd look at <laughs> ralph said he would look into it for me if they're going to show the game on the boat so today i just get what i would deem to be out of nowhere a text from ralph that goes uh the game's going to be on the boat supposedly yeah and i Took that as like, wow, what a weird booking. They're having the game. Oh, the yeah. yeah that's great. And thank God before I texted yeah, him that back, I go to Christine. I go, Christine, Ralph just texted me that <laughs> the great. game's going to be on the boat. Yeah. And she goes, love oh. it or hate it. <laughs> this is it. No, Christine goes, oh, thank God. Like, cause, you know, that'd be awful to have to miss that one. Because I heard he's a blood. No. <laughs> oh, no, okay. she got my whole point. <gasps> oh, thank God. I think he's actually affiliated with a real, I think he reps a set. I told it to her, I told it to her meaning it wrong. Yeah. She still took it right. And I call her stupid a lot. And yeah. I felt really stupid in this moment. Because, uh, I go, the game's going to be on the boat, apparently. Like, that's pretty cool. And she goes, that's great. You, it's a championship game. You get to watch it. And oh. I go, oh. <laughs> and I literally was like, I, I started hitting delete on my text to Ralph. Where I'm like, why would the game come on the boat? Is do he do doing do, metal now? Is he doing a nice tea turn? Do they do like a Linkin Park Jay-Z thing with Stone Sour? <laughs> I just don't know. But uh I'm excited for Stone Sour, man. Corey Taylor is unbelievable. From Slipknot. That's a big, big deal get for this boat. And he's from, for those unfamiliar, he was the lead singer of Slipknot? He is the lead singer of Slipknot. You're still. the lead singer yeah. of Slipknot. You're the one who's the lead singer of Slipknot. You're, but, uh, you're slinging. But Stone Sowers is, uh, I mean, they're a, they're a hard rock band, but you know, that's his softer band for sure. That's his acoustic project? No, but he definitely does ballads with them. Okay. Whereas, I mean, you know, Slipknot's some of the, I, I'm actually always, Christine, do it, do it, do a side by side, not a side by side, but like one to, to each other. I mean, a Slipknot song versus like Bother. By, or, or 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 through glass, bring up by Stone Sour. The fact that this is the same guy always blows my mind. That they oh the, the vocals can be so different. He's so talented that it's like pretty impressive. I am ready for this dilly dilly campaign to go the fuck away. Do you have put, put on no, no, put on Slipknot first? Just to I see the get it. It was funny. It, I don't, was it ever funny? Ah, Bud Light presents the Dilly Dilly Tour. Slipknot. Yeah. Monster trucks. We always sing, so you hear like, what are you doing? Jacob, this is the only way you can come listening to this. <laughs> I want to fight a shark. This will bring us into the, the JT thing we want to talk about, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot about JT. He's doing a little change. Fucking pussy. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, Jacob's all ripped up. Jacob's all ripped up. Yeah! The one song with that. Oh, man, I love Yeah, really. Why'd you pick the one song with no? Here it comes. Jacob, not your thing, I'm assuming. But now, this same sounds like, guy. This sounds like uh, Craig, You're Not My Dad rock. <laughs> you shut the door and you go. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? That's crazy. That is the question. Uh, yeah. That's, That's him? him? Yeah. When something like he looks like Ron Perlman in Beauty and the Beast. He really, honest to God, it, he has terrible long hair, Corey Taylor. He really looks he like... He shaves his head now and keeps it a little bit short, and it's much better, dude. When he had the long hair, it's like hay. Yeah. I've never understood why he ever grew long hair. It doesn't look cool. Cause I'm looking at you but he's oh, awesome. dude, I worked at KFMA, and we played. And when did this come out? 2005? Did this come out like 2005? Or did we play sure. this on K-Rock? Yeah. yeah. I was working at K-Rock when this came out. But isn't that crazy, Jacob? 
I mean, and, uh, and I believe I believe he believes in both bands. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's into both. You can do that. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Josh Homme's got like three bands. Um, lead singer of Tool. His yeah, Maynard. Me. Uh, Maynard. Maynard's James got a perfect uh, perfect circle. Tool. Pussifer. Pussifer. You uh, have a lot. Several other things. I'm so excited for Tool at Rock on the Range. Yeah, that's but you know be you can awesome. have different styles. You get, apparently, you, where are you gonna watch it from? What? Oh no, I'm not fucking up that segue. You can't have a lot of Tool? different styles. Oh no, it's fine. But Tool, uh, I'll watch from the soundboard for sure, man. Nice. Yeah, I, I mean, I assume you're not gonna be able to get. Uh, there's stage. no point watching that from side stage. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't want to. I'd want to. I want to see it, but where I'm not like elbow to elbow with thirty, and, and I'll be able to do that. Dude, you might even get to sit on those stand on those risers like Bonnaroo. You don't even need to. I'm telling you, it's like, it's so perfect. But wow. I mean, I literally might take Molly. Do it. For the first time in my life. Do it, dude. I think I might. Get ready I don't know. Tell everyone but around you. It can't go them. bad, right? It can go bad. It can go bad. Oh, then never mind. I won't take <laughs> yeah. it. It'll definitely go bad. It'll ruin Tool. <laughs> hey, Jay, remember the time you sweat through Tool the entire time? Yeah, you gotta let go. Yeah, you gotta be with someone that you trust. I don't trust Chris. That's why I do. I do drugs with Ari. He's the Sherpa. Yeah, but I thought Ari could also mess with you too a little bit. No, nah, I don't think he wouldn't with with drugs. I don't no, know no, 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 he's great. No, I'm I'm proud of him. Uh, Ari also Molly. says he's doing drugs with you and then runs away for five hours. Yeah, he's an outdoor cat. You gotta follow him. <laughs> <laughs> follow him down the path. Um, um so you were saying there's many different styles. You can change your style of music whenever you want. Apparently, because I don't know if the music style has changed, but we had a pop up when we turned our screen on today. That shows, I was unaware Justin Timberlake has a new album out. And Justin Timberlake, I give, before we start taking any shots here, mm -hmm. um, not that he gives a shit. He's listening right yeah. now like, no, 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 not the bonfire contingency. Guys. Oh, no. Oh, and I was a fan. I mean, um, that is crazy. It's really infuriating. It really is. His new, al his new album is called Man of the Woods. The Man of the Woods. The Man of the Woods. And, and the tour. He, he looks like fucking Everlast in Dude, this picture. It looks like a Marlboro commercial. Yeah, what is he doing? It looks like a Marlboro Red commercial. Hello, I'm Justin Timberlake, explorer, woodsman. Just, you never had to sell me on Justin Timberlake as like a tough or outdoorsy or manly masculine man. Hi, I'm Sam Elliott. <laughs> if you think I'm tough, wait till you see Justin Timberlake. Yeah. He's got sheepskin. <laughs> that means he's born from the cold, cool river. <laughs> I don't want to see Sam Elliott dance and hump and, you know, wear a tuxedo and do a, and do a group dance. I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> you know I don't know how to act. Actually, I do know how to act. Pretty as long polite. as I got my suit and tie. Yeah. As long as I got my suit and tie. <laughs> As long as I got my denim suit and bolo tie. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. He's got the... Oh, uh, look at this. Michelle, make me feel good. What? I'm telling you, I promise you it's on. The game. Promise you. I'm going on Ship Rock, and it's, on, it's up at the casino bar. Are you an Eagles fan? No! Vikings all the way. Oh, I was going to like say, say, say we can make out every time that the Eagles score, but now I feel like you're gonna ca you, now you're going to ca catch a Michelob Ultra bottle in the head. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Michelle's the swinging back. both. Well, Michelle, I'm following you. Look, you gotta tell me where we can watch this thing. Yes, we're gonna go, we're gonna go watch this game as a family. And, oh my God, it's gonna be so awesome! I cannot wait. Um, either of what? In a game ever, you gotta give me that. What is that? Diggs, best catch ever. Amazing. Yo, yeah. are you smoking a cigarette right now? No. Oh, okay, that would have been great. Diggs, <laughs> I really thought it was that. best catch ever. <laughs> yes, this guy. It's such a lean back. She goes, <laughs> she goes, Diggs, best catch ever. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, I look forward to hey, seeing you on the boat. We'll, we we won't be friends for three hours only, but then we're back. Ship rocked. I cannot wait. So excited. Stone Sour. Corey Taylor's going to become my new best friend, in case you were wondering. Oh. So if you want to bridge new, to him, I'm the guy to see. New co-host? <laughs> Nick Core? Me and him are going to become totally cool. He's not going to come watch one comedy show. It's uh, going to break my heart. Yeah. I wish you would just... I, we'll try to get him to come. Mm -hmm. He'll get there. Um... Back to Justin Timberlake. I'm blown away. What's the song sound like? I find it's Justin Tim I find Justin Timberlake unhateable. Yeah, I like him. So he, uh, like, he'd be a very hard person to follow sexually because he just probably hits all the right spots. Nope, wouldn't worry about following him sexually. What? Not at all. Are you kidding me? Not at all. Why? I hope he's the last guy a girl fucked before she gets to me. You're crazy. Because if you're fucking me, he did something wrong. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I'm very saying? Good point. Very You're good like, point. oh, he just like he fucked me. Like I should have been happy to be fucking him. Like he, I yeah. believe he gives you one of those. That's and I come very... in and I go, I can't believe you fucking me after Justin Timberlake. I'm gonna plow you out. Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for some gummers off your puss. Yeah, because like, there's dick residue oh, on there. I hope you took your Sally Field pills because I'm gonna bust your hips open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Jamie Lee Curtis, better not have eaten that yogurt. <laughs> You're about to splatter all over these sheets. Hey, Boniva. <laughs> hey, Boniva. Um, all right, so he didn't change his. We we thought he changed his. I, I still hate the cover. The cover is infuriating. Um, infuriating. Oh, it's, Keith, co- it's infuriating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, see him. Man of the woods. Oh, I'm JT. I'm just out here surviving. Um, now, I killed the snake with my bare hands. Now, if I piss inside the snake and wear it like a headband, I will not be too hot nor too cool. There's a family. A rival family across over the yonder. Now I'm going to MC Hammer shimmy over to this ledge. We're having a land dispute. <laughs> Much like the Hatfield and McCoys. The Hatfields and McCoys. Hi, I'm just the, the Timberlakes Shaw- and the Beals. The Chassés and the Timberlakes. <laughs> I've been going at it for years. J.C. Chassés. <laughs> the Chassés and the Timberlakes. <laughs> What's the other? They're the Hatfield and the, McCoys the of Kirk dancing. Patrick's, the yeah. Kirk Patrick's and the Chassés. <laughs> <laughs> the Matthew McCoys are dancing. They're just like, I know those moves. Those moves were my grandpappy's moves, and those moves were his pappy's moves. Man, Chris Kirkpatrick, there's no way to age well when you decide what? to have like yarn dreadlocks. What? When you're, when I you're mean, younger. that picture specifically, he looks like every Verizon manager in a mall. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> and he's definitely trying to fuck the new girl. Oh uh, yeah, where he goes. You know, a little bit of power could go a long way. Do you want to work Friday mornings or not? Joey right Fatone. now, have you? Opened? I'm gonna start dressing like Joy Fatone, where it's sleeve. Vests. vest. Oh, you badass. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, please That's do. That's how to do it. That is how you do it. Why stud. is Chris Kirkpatrick dressed like a 10th grade drug dealer? Because <laughs> he is. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Oh, my God. Remember, he had the cornrows and the dri- Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, I he went for day. it, man. He went for it. He did. And the thing is, like, it's so great. The benefit of it, if you just go live it like that, is so great. The payoff was so high. For what? Just to be this much of a hand job <laughs> that every girl wants to fuck you. Is this isn't every girl wants to fuck you, every guy wants to be you. Every girl wants to fuck you, every guy wants to fight you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. members of NSYNC. So and then JT, that's to be, so that, impressive to be about. that serious about it and take it that serious the way they're, they're press pictures, like we're all wearing the same jacket in different shades, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like how lame it is. But how likable JT is to get out of that. Amazing. Amazing what he's done. But he, uh, then he goes and takes a picture of surviving in the woods. Oh, yeah, really. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, they're so like, uh, Bruno Mars, what are you doing? Christine's just enjoying herself. <laughs> no, that was the next just, video. Christine's just having Christine Day. <laughs> I feel like watching dancing now. I want to watch dancing. And 24 carat magic yeah. in the air. <laughs> um, well, should we get to our first topic or do you want to, um, I was enjoying the Bruno Mars thing personally, I'm, but no, I was going to say about the. We'll, we'll come back from commercial with the topic, but I, I think uh, to be that like every guy hates you, and it's like you got to overcome so much. Like Joey Fatone was such a likable, great dude when I met him on the Joker's Cruise. The yeah, because it's almost like they're like monks. They no. like learned how to make peace with like the thing that you're the most afraid of, which is people hating you, and then just everyone hates you. He gets it. Yeah. He gets where they were. He gets where he is. He's sort of content in that. Yeah. And seems secure in it and was really a cool dude. I have a feeling Chris Kirkpatrick is not living a life like that. I don't know. Look at what's he up to these days. He could be fine. You don't he's know. He's probably managing a Verizon. Oh, no, no. They, yeah, I'm sure he's got cash forever. How much money did they make? I mean, JT. Hundreds of millions. They made hundreds of each. Each. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Dude, he told me they had to have tanks take them from the airports to the... That's pretty cool. From the airport to wherever they went overseas. Yeah. Uh, Joey Fatone, so they had tank uh, escorts, because they couldn't. That's instead, how, of, instead of our normal escorts of just a comedy club manager and an accord? Exactly. So at the, in the 90s, goes, you're I'm charging... I'm going to take you to your hotel, and he goes, thanks, how long have you been at the club? So we had Screech last week. You're it, like, Ha! Huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my Dustin God. Diamond. Oh, cool. Don't you hate when a name is gonna fucking knock you out of the thing? Ah, dude, I told you, man. Just hilarious. That's the one I keep, I keep going. Like, hey, sorry for the not full room on this snowy Saturday. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, it's fine. Just hilarious is coming in tomorrow. She sold out. She pre-sold out like four shows. My new She's one. Doing is, them all tomorrow. My new one. When I apologize to the wait staff, is they're always like, well, we've got Piff the Magic Dragon on. <laughs> cool. 
Glad a guy with a dragon suit's picking up the slack. <laughs> oh, you, whoa! Holy shit! God, Kirkpatrick looks like a Viking, like a strongman face. He has strongman face. That really went that's, bad. That's throw a log face. <laughs> Look at that. That went haywire on him, huh? Yikes! He looks like Chino Marino from the Deftones. <laughs> yeah, he really does. He does. He's oh, fucking boy. Kirk, Kirk, Chris Kirkpack neck. <laughs> <laughs> At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, uh, we'll tweet out a picture. Probably just got a lot of money. He looks like he's happy. That is one thick neck. Um, well, he's married. Yeah. Let's see that piece. His lovely bride. Yeah, is that her right there? All right. Oh, all right. Looks like they have like a good relationship. Yeah. You know when you see a girl and you go, oh, they probably got a good relationship. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's the well, level of hot she is where you go, oh, they, they probably, they probably enjoy each other. I'll tell you what she is. And I'm telling you, I understand what these guys go for that. Cause Jessica Biel, by the way, is like stunning. Of it's course. Insane. She's in seventh heaven. She's gorgeous, but she's still a girlfriend hot. Yeah. Very she's bit. never been. She's never Pond been known. Air. She's never been known for her tits hanging out and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but then you then you see stuff in like the. Um, she had a couple movies where she's shown some. No, no, I know. Skin I know like, she's been sexy, but her thing Chuck is like she's Larry. not known for Chuck being. Chuck and Larry. That's the she's one. not known. <sighs> she's not known for being like always a sex object. No, yeah. not at all. If anything, she's also she's always like the girl next door. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. Who's the actress from Con Air that you the blonde that I like? Yeah. Oh, the Patch Adams chick. Yeah, I forget, but exactly. Yeah, that's that kind. She's that's not. What... She's not the one where you see a picture and you can't get it out of your head for days. But you're like, if this girl's your girlfriend, like you nailed it. You go home early. Oh, you go home early. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You really uh, look up girl from Patch Adams. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, Jessica Beal from Boulder, Colorado. Is she? Yeah, Colorado represent. It's not she all prob- just garbage. She probably like wouldn't me. fuck you simply because you're from Aurora. She, yeah, she go. Oh, Monica Potter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monica Potter. Potter. Potter Pots. Hotty Pots. <laughs> yeah, wait. Go up that third picture. The third, right there. Oh my God. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. She's so gorgeous, but like so. You would be like, this girl is definitely not going to whack me off in an Uber on our first date. No. Not even kidding? a chance. I could. I mean, listen, I'm pulling my, I'm pulling my dick out in the Uber, so I'm just saying she's probably not going to respond to it. I could. I mean, if you wanted me to. I mean, if that's something you would like. Oh, Marty. Get beat it, Marty. You're driving the Uber. <laughs> is that something you guys would like me to come back there? Maybe you guys want me to ski pole? I know I'm driving you here in a Kia Optima. Do oh. so you guys want me to come back there? Maybe. Good thing about these Kias, like, uh, ample space between the driver and passenger seat. I can climb right back there. Don't you have to get out of the car? Seats are vinyl. They hold no stains. <laughs> Justin Timberlake is a man, man of the woods. Now, Jason, uh, kill Kirkpatrick. Go gather some logs. I'll be over here splitting them. Uh, um, nothing like dancing on a pine top. <laughs> I'm Justin Timberlake. Man of the woods. <laughs> man, the man of the woods. I never had indoor plumbing until I was 27 years old. I'm an outhouse man. I a lot like, of people don't know that. I used to learn all my dance moves going from house to outhouse. I go, oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I moonwalked clear from my porch to the outhouse. Yeah, yeah, I could. It was December night, <laughs> brittle. And I had, I had some you know, the demon guts. <laughs> um, yeah, let's take our first break and we'll come back. Okay, everyone, it's the bonfire. Man, I'm hoping, I'm hoping work dad doesn't show up. I hope they do. Oh, they have and now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. It's me. You know, the man of the woods. Oh, just a real rural, rural fella that Justin Timberlake on his new Man of the Woods tour. I can't stop moving. I mean, we're going to have to do Justin Timberlake all day today. He really is unhateable. And then you see that picture of him in that lambskin jacket, and you're like, what the fuck is that? I wish I could do a flying clothesline to him, the one (laughs) where I throw my body like past him almost, (laughs) taking him down the way. That's a nice Randy Orton. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You You know, you can do a good good segue, dude. Very special guest on the phone, (laughs) uh, host of... The only podcast I listen to, something to wrestle. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I li- I'm on Legion of Skanks. Got 11 and a half podcasts in the world. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I can't listen to any of them, because then I, I show <laughs> yeah, favorites. Yeah, yeah. So this is the only one I can listen to. On the phone, Bruce Pritchard. What's up, dude? 
What the hell is going on with you guys? That was an awesome segue, I must say, and, and agree with the whole Justin Timberlake uh, vibe there. Yeah, he. Yeah. Well, what happened was Bruce. Um, obviously, welcome to the bonfire. Um, uh, you know Jay. Yeah, you know we, met, we made the stand. Yeah. Yes, we did. And um, you have a live Barclays Center Friday night, January 19th, as part of the doubleheader with the Brooklyn Nets. You can go see a live something to wrestle with, with uh, Bruce Pritchard and Conrad Thompson. Um, and then you're staying in town for Raw 25, right? I sure as hell am. It's going to be a blast. I'm actually surprised that they would even invite me to come back, but at the same time, <laughs> it's, it's pretty damn cool. So, so this is your first time coming. It's a good time. It's What's, been, been uh, an interesting weekend. It's yeah. in New York, Wall 25? Yeah, it's Where, on Monday. Garden? Monday night, it's at uh, Barclays and in the Manhattan Center. Oh, wow. Yeah, 25 years of Monday oh, Night Raw. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, crazy. The return of Brother Love. The return of Brother Love to Monday Night Raw. Oh, hell yeah. That's and, great. And Bruce, this is your first time uh, going back to the company since you left, right? Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. So it it should be very interesting, to say the least. Uh, yeah. When you when you do the brother love thing, uh, what's the, how do you make your skin red? Do you like uh, auto? <laughs> like Thanks for bringing it up, dude. I have a bit of a drinking issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jay, I, yeah, well, I'm just going to say that it's just a, it's a face full of love. Okay, nice. <laughs> and, that's, that's all. I like that you do shots like Jay before a show. He's like, wham, 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 let's go. Rip it. Go now. Just get Irish. Well, hang on. I, I hung out with you guys in between shows before, so you can understand how my face could get as red as it gets. Yeah. Oh, no, I get that. Yeah, because hanging out with us, our faces get red, too. Oh, yeah. Turned up. Because <laughs> we're so embarrassed. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you, are you guys coming goosies. out? Are you guys coming out to Barclays, though, on Friday night? That's uh, going to be insane, too. Yeah. Jay's going to be in uh, South Carolina, and I'm going to be in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. So. I'm, res- I'm wrestling in the Mid North <laughs> Southwest Regional. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's involved in a 30 man battle royale in South I'm Carolina. Going, I'm going back to the region wrestling. <laughs> yeah. You got to go regional. AWA. Uh, <laughs> Um, but- XYZ, Fernand Snavitz, <laughs> and the reverse double snakes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bruce, your podcast, Something to Wrestle With, is after the Nets game on Friday night, like in the Barclays Center? It is in the Barclays Center after the game. They're going to gather everybody together, and we're going to move over. They, they've set up a stage on the practice court in Barclays Center, and That's we're awesome. going to do our live show there. So That's, it's going to be pretty damn cool. That's badass. That's really cool, the practice thing over there. I don't know if you've seen it, Bruce. It has an overlook from, like, in the actual stadium, yeah, there's like an overlook into the. It's pretty neat. Oh, that's it's badass! Really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's going to be right after the game with a live something to wrestle with. Bruce Pritchard uh, tickets at thirty five dollars and can be purchased at boxofgimmicks dot com. So go to boxofgimmicks dot com and get tickets to see uh, Bruce Pritchard live this Friday night at Barclays Center. Uh, dude, thanks for calling in. And check him out on Raw 25. Hey, man, thanks you guys for having me. It won't be the same without you doing Andre for me on stage, yeah, but. Dude. Uh, Nonetheless, we're going to have ourselves a blast. He did a uh, he did a live something to wrestle with at um, Gramercy Theater uh-huh. before SummerSlam, and I went and he uh, his live shows are fun, man, because Bruce does the best Dusty Roads ever. I mean, to even say anyone does nearly as good as a Dusty Roads is bullshit. And a Vince McMahon, so he's got a bunch of fun masks, and he had a uh, a Macho Man and an Andre one, and so we did some fun conversations. That's oh, great. Yeah, and uh, definitely go check out a live. Fully intended. What's that? Yeah. I said it. I fully intended to do a macho off with you, and then you started doing macho off off stage. I just looked over at Conrad. I said, I, I got nothing. I can't compete with that. <laughs> and right. I just shut up and went immediately went right into Dusty, baby. I know he can do the macho man all day long, do little Andre, but I ain't heard him live like the American dream, if you will, baby. I mean, it's, I do a pretty sick Ted RCD. Do it. I don't know. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I just pick jobbers. Yeah. <laughs> you go, I can do Remember good... Steve McMichael? Yeah. I do a pretty great Steve McMichael. You Baron want... Von Raschke? You want to hear my Brooklyn brawler? <laughs> yeah. Please. I just do people. <laughs> I just throw my back on the ground. Yeah. I got the... Remember Bart Johnson lost to Brett the Hitman Hart Saturday morning at 8.45 a.m. You know where that guy is now? <laughs> dead! He's dead! <laughs> business, Bruce... business bitch out. Yeah. Bruce, thank you so much for calling in. Again, go get tickets yeah, at boxingimmits.com. Uh, you're the best. And I'll Have see a great you this show, Bruce. Uh, Thanks for calling. One. Me. All right, man. Bye-bye. Bye. Um, Bruce Pritchard. That's so cool. Yeah, dude. I mean, some of the stories he tells on that podcast, and you grew up the same time I did watching wrestling. Mm-hmm. 
This is fucking crazy. The Jake the Snake episode, Million Dollar Man episode of his podcast. They just go in about these guys for like three hours. And honest. Dude, he knows them. So he talks about partying. He talks about like like a lot of the shit. You Any get... of the bad, though? Like what a piece oh, of shit this guy was? Absolutely. That's great. Yeah, he, he fucking... Oh, he I love Expose. I love Expose. Well, that's why it's crazy he's going back for a Raw 25. Because the WWE, I mean, kind of mad about his podcast. Dude, he caught a lot of heat. For but you fucking... can't, you can't not acknowledge the popularity of it. So it's better to like. And dude, it's the biggest wrestling podcast out there. Yeah, better to get into it. Yeah, so go oh, check thank him out. You. I mean, my podcast, uh, Squared Circle. Oh uh, goddamn it! No, that's the last man I was going to say. <laughs> Squared Top... Circle with Big J. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to call it uh, Middle Turnbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Irish Whip. Uh, my... <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I call it uh, yeah, <laughs> Belly to Belly Suplex. Mine it's would me be and another fat person. Mine would be. Um, I'd probably call it. What is the, the move Vecchio loves all the time? Or Camel he... Clutch? No, he yells it out all the time. Where he's like, um, "Fuck!" It's the it's the pin. It's the uh, where you go under the guy's legs. Fuck! How am I not remembering this right now? Sunset flip? No, not a sunset flip. It's um. Small package. Small package. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the, great. Vecchione will always, whenever I'm watching like a pay-per-view and he's just milling around in the back because he doesn't pay attention to it, he'll watch Royal Rumble. Also, Mr. Wrestling, small packages when you get under, uh, small packages, a suplex that ends in a pin. Yeah, you can do that. It's like, like a per- sideways suplex. That's like almost. the perfect plex. But then also you just, when you go into small package, but Vecchione will be watching wrestling and they'll do a small package and he'll just go, small package. <laughs> and you're like, All right. You're like a child. Small package. He just loves it. Every time they're like, Small package. Speaking of small packages, more oh. news from the horror house of Yo. malnourished children. I mean, can I just say your segues are just <laughs> fucking awesome? Today. It's my one thing. No, they call just, me Seg J. It's just like you're hitting that th- <laughs> Seg J. By the way, Justin Timberlake was an ad on this article. Oh, really? Yeah. Of course. Well, what's going to make a bunch of depleted nutri- uh, nu- uh, nutrients children happy then? They go. Seeing that Justin Timberlake's bulked up and got a beard now. They go, kids, we understand that you have no insides to your bones. You are lacking all uh, actual nutrients, so we're just going to have you listen if, to a bunch of JT. If they saw it, they'd be like, that Cody's wearing looks really warm in that ad. Did he get to eat the meat that that fur is from? <laughs> I would like to eat the meat that he's from. We have no bone marrow. Please help us. We are rotten. So this is the actual, this is the sister calling in here, because what we have is, <laughs> this is so great. I mean, um, it really just looks like a British singer. There's nobody good Look in this at, family. Look at this picture. There's he no, goes, coming in on the charts in like 1978. Like, uh, he plays a guitar on. that looks like a long violin. Yeah. <laughs> Go he's to his, one his little Paul McCartney guitars. Hello, I'm about to play my song for you right now. Oh, hey guys, I wrote a few songs for the band. I think it's right in our voice. Oh yeah. Shut up, Turpin. He looks you like don't know what you're talking about. Turpin was. He looks like he was in a formative punk band from the '90s. Look at like Is actually, that slash and metal, David Turpin. Actually, he looks like he was in a in a '60s uh, 1960s English band called the Turpins. Yeah. Oh, I'm David Turpin from the Turpins. And my brother Ron was in the Turpins. Like the Ramones. I, Tommy. Turpin? We did seven minute songs, not two minute songs. <laughs> Anyways, I have my family chained to the basement. Would you like to see my fruit cellar? Would I'd you like, like to see my fruit cellar? Little kids showering is my thing. <laughs> That's a nice dress. I'll take 13 of them. <laughs> <laughs> the boys is girls and the girls is boys. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a haircut just like me. I've got my turn. Turpin eye on you. <laughs> I'll stop the world to torture you. <laughs> um, so now David the- Turpin, uh, now the sister-in-law. So this is Louise, Louisiana, <laughs> Louisiana Turpin, Louisiana Turpin, who we all feel, by the way, yeah, is out of David Turpin's league. But man, he held on, dude. He was he's way older than her. Do you yeah, know that? He was probably charming as shit. Oh, 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 this is the ant on Good Morning America. Well, yes. So what happened was the ant, which is, uh, Louise's s- sister. Yeah. Uh, David Turpin's sister-in-law now claims that he used to watch her in the shower. It is for her to come out with that right now is such a weird dial back of horror of what's happened in this household. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because he's tortured and even chained a few of them up for several years. There's a 29-year-old who looks like an 11-year-old. Did you Everyone's all freaking out. He goes, yeah, he goes, and also, he used to watch me shower. There you go. That's you're like, you're right. uh, did he, so he used to rape you in the shower? He goes, no, never touched me. No, I actually just sat on the toilet pretty politely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
And that's it? She goes, well, I mean, that's not it. That was pretty traumatizing. Um, Someone at the Jeffrey Dahmer trial goes, I heard he even kiss him on the mouth. <laughs> he ate them. It's the meanest thing in the world, but the uh, the lady, the black lady at the Jeffrey Dahmer trial is one of my favorite sound clips. In <laughs> fact, play it, Christine, because I want Lou to have it clean so we could have this as a drop on the show. You never seen the, you never see when she's talking, she's trying to hold together, and she's like, at Jeffrey Dahmer's trial, she goes, no. you know what I'm talking about, right? She goes, uh, she goes, Jeffrey, I just, you took my brother away from me, and, and I just want to say, I hate you, Jeffrey! I hate you so much, Jeffrey! And she just like loses it. Alright, here it is. Yeah. Hey, back it up, back it up. I've never seen this. It's so great. My name is Rita Inspell, and I'm the oldest sister of Errol Lindsay. Jer whatever your name is, Satan. I'm mad. This is how you act when you are out of control. I don't want to ever see my mother have to go through this again. He goes like this. Now, Having your, goes, I don't think your mom's uh, going to go through her son getting eaten ever again. Yeah, you go, <laughs> That's rare. That go, happens to you twice. You play lose, the lottery. Yeah, you lose a kid. You lose two kids to cannibalism. <laughs> you are on a real roll. <laughs> same guy, same day. No, ten years apart, man. Like, goes, Holy shit! You got to move, man. Other, other side of the world. This was a German <laughs> yeah. German cannibal. Got my baby girl. Like, what do you live in the Amazon? They go, no, it's just it just shows you the times, you know. Sh sure. My son goes out for some gay sex, ends up getting eaten. I understand that. <laughs> do you live, eat, do you live one of my, eat one of your my children? Shame on me. <laughs> eat two of my children. Shame on you. <laughs> well, after our first son got eaten, we moved to the ruins, to Mayan ruins. We found a lost tribe there. Pretty, yeah, they are pretty into cannibals. <laughs> I'll tell you what. They called my son delicious. I thought that was a nice term they use in tribe talk. I don't I know thought, a lot of tribe talk. In Peruvian, I thought that was a good <laughs> Maybe I was just, yeah, translating it weird, yeah, you know I, what I mean? But then, you know, sons of bitches ate my kid. <laughs> come back to the hotel. Come back to the Holiday Inn. Two down. Kid's gone. Chuck the second one up. Guess what? Cannibalism. All I saw was a suck and some mustard. <laughs> can't write. You can't write this stuff. You All that was left this. was the elastic from his underwear. <laughs> Apparently, they can't digest plastic. They can't digest... <laughs> they, do it, they do it like a digestion string. It's just a BVD strap. <laughs> yeah. They go, that's definitely Haynes. <laughs> that's what Randy wore. Wait, play this. Yeah, yeah, hey, back it up. You got to back it up just a touch. Wow. We missed the, yeah, we missed the eruption. I don't want to ever see my mother have to go through this again. Never, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I hate you, mother... I hate you! That's is how we do this is like, she's getting like Brian Dawkins hyped. <laughs> it's crazy. You see Jeffrey Dahmer, he starts doing like monkey things, like, like scratching his arm. No, I'm kidding. He doesn't do that. And he just puts a middle finger up. He puts his middle finger up and sucks it. He goes, <laughs> he goes like that, rubs his belly. He goes, mm. I'd be afraid if he goes, he goes, you miss your son. <laughs> what if he has to say, what if he goes, he goes, I know you miss your brother. <sighs> he goes, come here. There he is. <laughs> Uh -huh. goes, Jeffrey Dahmer burps your brother back to you. <laughs> he goes, Shit. He goes, good news. Twenty minutes in that uh, in the prison bathroom, about to lay up about a finger, a finger of fucking hair. You could probably make a doll out of my poop and put some hair on it. Yeah. Here you go. I don't know. You want me to shit in some sort of plastic cup and you can have it at Thanksgiving and feel like he's there. Um. Well, anyway. Uh, but I've never uh, seen that drop before. Uh, it's great. She goes fucking nuts. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, she goes like crazy. I mean, By yeah, the way, way to show, way to show up for trial in your fucking best like shut up and dance shirt or whatever mm. the fuck that was. Were you running errands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she goes. I was just going the right aid. I remember there's trial today. She goes. I got milk, eggs. I said that's some bitch. Ain't my brother's on trial. He goes. Oh, I gotta go. I'm yeah. going to head down there. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, you guys know I'm a little undressed. Y'all let me in? Yeah. You going to let me speak? Can I do five minutes? <laughs> what? Do you Can I do a guest spot? Can I get a guest spot right now? In front of Jeffrey. But, man, that's such real. Go back to the thing. That's such real anger. When she screams the name before she says the I hate you thing, that's right so real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right here. Right you got to turn it up. Never see my mother have to go through this again. Never, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I hate you. <laughs> First of all, it's also such a hilariously lame name to be that angry at. Jeffrey. Jeffrey! Yeah. It's just such a white, dorky name. Jeffrey. Jeffrey! Chandler! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you think it's a white ball, I don't ever want my brother to go through that again. Constantine! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then he just sits there. 
I like the question, by the way, on Court TV. Dahmer, monster or madman? He goes, I mean, both. Can you be both? You probably can be both. I mean, it doesn't say it's like monster or misunderstood seems like it would be a better thing. Like, yeah. like, monster? He goes, lunatic or psychopath? Or hangry. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe monster, just hangry. horny or hangry? <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer, what did he do? You show pictures of people? Yeah. Monster, horny, hangry. <laughs> monster, monster, horny, hangry. <laughs> well, fucking uh, the dad from the... Uh, Cal- Horrible, horny, hangry. Yeah. It's let's play. Game. Let's play the Good Morning America clip with the aunt because I'm fascinated by this woman now because now she's grabbing fame, basically off her nieces and nephews being it's fucking I mean, coming in so it's, weird. It's bizarre. There's a line in the article where she goes, "I think the one that escaped is the one that was named after me." Makes me so proud, but she hasn't spoken to them in 20 years. Well, no, she said. She said she goes. We tried. I asked for 20 years to be able to Skype them. Yeah. So bring up the <laughs> clip. I mean, how much do you fight for that though? He goes, "Let me Skype the kids," and they go. No. No. Nah. Like, all right. All right. Hey, you know, I'll try sense. again next year. Here she is on Good Morning America this morning. Now is the aunt of those children, Louise Durbin's sister, Elizabeth Jane Flores. She looks like an actress playing a role. Oh, man. She is deceptively fat. <laughs> I did not see that coming in. Yeah, you back she up. She really holds you together in her neck and face. Yeah. <laughs> She's a real Skype trick. <laughs> That's a real, you Skype with her and you're like, gorgeous. Yeah. You why are you holding your whole computer above your head? <laughs> <laughs> your shoulders gotta get sore. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I have an appointment to get to anyway. It's fine, it's fine. Right. Well, I don't know. When someone, when the accusation is he used to watch me shower, yeah, he just looked at I didn't her. think it was like, goes, he probably needed to help her shower. He goes, <laughs> he goes, he's just, he's like, I'm amazed at your legs. <laughs> he goes, I don't I've, know how. I've never seen someone built more for a third and one. <laughs> yeah, he goes, how do you not have hooves? Yeah. You are so bottom heavy. I just want to make sure you don't come out of the tub. He says, he goes, he used to watch me. Would you say watch me or wash you in the shower? He wash. Oh, rag on a sticking her. <laughs> yeah, smoking a cigarette, talking to a coworker. Yeah, this one here got some bed sores. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna roll her around. I forgot this week. Something about the tank gets her all angry. Oh, she's a rough look. But thank you very much. I know this is a difficult time. No, it's not. So no, she's, she's, the prin- she's the princess she's of the family now. She doesn't, yeah, and she's daughter of the year. She oh goes, God. Oh, do you remember the time Louise, Louisiana had her kids tied up? Dude, Thanksgiving at the, uh, at her house is gonna be dope. Oh my oh, God. All the conversations. Oh, you mean Braggsville? That's right. She's like, I invited all 13 kids, none of them came in. She goes, yeah, I didn't have enough plates. <laughs> he goes, and then I remember they don't eat. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. I'm such a bitch. I'm such a bitch. Oh, Courtney, you're such a bitch. <laughs> For, for all of us to hear about your nieces and nephews, what was it like when you first heard the news? Well, I was shocked because my sister and I really haven't had a sister relationship for about 20 years. So other than maybe like a call every once in a while, and sometimes those calls were like a year apart, um, so I was shocked. I was devastated, just like much of the other world, you know, the rest of the world. I know that you're thinking of the of the children. You you lived for a time when you were in college with your sister and brother-in-law. They had children mm-hmm. at that time, a few children at that time. What did you observe about their parenting? Well, I only lived there for a few months, but I <laughs> felt they were really strict, but I didn't see any type <laughs> of... I bet. <laughs> yeah. That's an understatement. They were pretty strict. They knew where they were at all times. <laughs> yeah. 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 They had them chained. You got the, I want to get to the shower part so bad. Yeah. You know. I, I heard that you said that your brother-in-law at the time made you uncomfortable. Yes. How so? Well, like, if I went to get in the shower, he would come in there while I was in there and watch me, and it was like a joke. He never touched me or anything, but... I hope it's a defense. He goes, with those short arms and that fat ass, I just want to see if she could wash her butt crack yeah. alone. Because <laughs> I never watched a T-Rex shower. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, that, that's what was the joke. It's a good bit. He's like, she watch solid He bit. could not see her. She's pouring out of the bathroom. She goes, in all honesty, he is a good writer, so I let him watch the shower. <laughs> the joke was strong. <laughs> the joke was strong. Good, strong. good setup, good premise. 
But again, this is another situation of he used to watch me in the shower, and she's going to say we pulled it off like it was a joke. If I were interviewing her, I'd be like, "Were the bangs ever a clue?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you do. Did you ever know? look at the bangs and go, "Maybe I should dig deeper on this"? Like, yeah, I thought a person of that high fashion would be a better person. <laughs> <than> <laughs> he really does look like an art expo owner, <laughs> and like he could be really fancy with that haircut. Oh, like, totally. Do you understand? There are only fifteen of these in the world, and I own three of them. Get out of my store. Get out of here. This is the new art exhibit where I have 13 mildly mentally retarded children chained in the basement. He it's walks, called Locker. He walks with a cane that's got some sort of an artifact on top of yeah, it. This right here is a diamond <laughs> off the crown of the late Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> um, and then you just find out he's just pure garbage. But watching someone take a shower is so like... She doesn't even say he makes her. He just does it like a... Like, Lock a door. I mean, there's so many ways. Is that was she like flirting it's with a her weird brother-in-law? Compl- it's probably she was showing her fucking sniz to her brother-in-law. That is probably what it is. It's just a weird thing that like you're in the shower and your brother-in-law just sits down. He's like, That's just a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even approach that as a joke? Uh oh, well, better come in here and wash. You better not take all our soap. I'm <laughs> just kidding around and watching. It is a good. <laughs> it is. It is a good. It is a good excuse to laugh at a fat person for 15 minutes, though. You go, ah, it's just a joke, and just constantly keep laughing. She's like, we're not even saying anything. He goes, no, 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 no. But try to try to wash your butt crack. <laughs> ah, uh, you do have a lot of fun here. Okay, I'm gonna go start dinner. <laughs> he goes, I'm gonna go downstairs and haul off on a few of these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. I turn the lights off, make them feel like they got a chance. They're chained up though. <laughs> he goes, and then when it's their weakest, I let them know. Dinner. Yeah. You wanna kinda, you guys wanna know what I call abusing my children? Tetherball. It's a fun little nickname. <laughs> Anybody about his, his actions? No. I was young. I was scared. I was in Texas where I knew nobody. I had no family. Um. What about your sister? I was treated like one of the kids, kind of, so I had rules. I know, probably looking back, but, you know. Well, I now try. that I'm an adult yeah, yeah. and I look back, I see things that I didn't see then. Sure. The bags. Your parents, <laughs> She's been eating for 13 in memory of them. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I have taken the caloric intake of 13 children <laughs> in order. That's her big gift. She's going to let them eat her. Yeah. <laughs> Feast on me. I am your family. God, those kids are all whacked out looking. Those yeah. boys, man. Yikes. He makes, uh, he, he, he was able to make some, uh, definitely like, you know, uh, passable, uh, like adorable looking uh, girls, but man, the boys are just rough. It really is that storyline in Game of Thrones, that guy, that wildling that has sex with his daughters and has kids, you're almost like, it's the same vibe. It is the same vibe, yeah. These kids have so, goober eyes. Yeah. It ain't fucking natural. No, what's going on with these kids? No, no, for sure. I bet they know how to play the banjo immediately. Though. Oh, God, just pick it apart. Just in them. No, 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 no. He goes, Daddy, why does this feel like walking? <laughs> That's my favorite one of my, when they did the old Rambo movie, that was one of my favorite lines that they had in the trailer where he goes, when killing is as easy as breathing. <laughs> You're like, okay, guys, come on. Yeah, I was still jacked to go see it in the theater. Though. I saw it in the theater, but man, that was one bad Rambo. Yikes. You loved it. No, I never saw it. it was bad. Oh, oh yeah. Old Rambo? Sag tits Rambo? Yeah, it's oh, tough. It was pretty crazy. And I'm yeah. a huge fan of the franchise. Ric Flair torso Rambo? Oh, no, yeah. You don't want to see fucking dad in Florida body Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> Real rough. He's like, he's like, he's like, wait, we got to break into this village. Let me put my knee brace on. He goes, he goes, it's got copper in it, which they say is good for your joints. Do you guys see the 45 SPF copper tone? <laughs> Oh, uh, no. That my Bosnian dog, son can be a mofo. Apparently, due to Rock Rambo 3, I'm a little burned out. <laughs> yeah, Rambo, old Rambo is real shit. Um, all right, sorry, back to the, uh, so yeah, that's the update in the family of 13. Just the aunt's taking all the fame now. You think she's offering to adopt these kids? No. She wants the money, not the fucking kids. She's just going to go on everything. She's probably going to write a book. She hasn't talked to him in 20 years. She's going to write a book. It was the one that was named after me. I mean, first of all, to name somebody after a young aunt is a weird action already. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
options yeah. are. I don't know. This lady really, I think she's trying to capitalize on some shit. I, I'm telling you right now. Don't go is. on Good Morning America. Go get your fucking nieces and nephews, you shithead. Yeah, she goes, <laughs> like, I'm just so sad, but I'm in New York City. Little dip off. Uh, you know, just had to stop off and say hi, say what's up. Uh, I'm going to go down to Joe's Pizza on 14th and Broadway. <laughs> I'll be at, I'll be at Lure all night bottle <laughs> services. Top DJs and performers. She goes, you should push live <laughs> She's doing live <laughs> I'm going to be an honorary ring girl if at Ring of Honor Wrestling this weekend. If y'all are in Houston, better come out to the hottest party in Houston <laughs> at Aldo's. It's the number one night spot in Houston. <laughs> I'll um, be spinning from 12 to 2. I just want to come and meet my fans like Instagram hosts. She's just like, I want to meet my fans and say hi. Guys, get my new mixtape. It's called Watch Me Shower. Yeah, it's called Dirty Baker's Dozen. <laughs> Hey! Oh. Yo, we got the hottest ant in the building! <laughs> Yo, she built like a weeble wobble! <laughs> she don't fall down, but she take that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Labor Day weekend! Yes. <laughs> um, it's ridiculous. We gotta take our break, I know. Um, Jacob's gonna have a whole conniption. Wow. He's waiting for some pretty big. He got some pretty big news going on in his life. Oh, I'd love to get fuck into it. Yeah, we're going to get right into it. Uh, we'll be right back, everyone. It's the bonfire. Oh, I can't wait to get into Jacob's new info. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. Hey, my girl. You're gone. Hey, my girl. Good. 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 Wow, young JT. His face looks different. Yeah, like a pretty Who girl. Is that girl in the she video? Just like so Justin beautiful. Timberlake. Shut your mouth. You are so beautiful. You're Julia. I'm going to crown molding for you, Julia. Don't, don't think about Justin, Julia. He's bad for you. He's an outdoorsman. I'll make you feel like a woman. You'll feel like a Her woman. So good. Karina Longan. Yeah, you found it already, huh? No, Christine did. Dog will hunt. Now you type in Karina Longin, nude. I was going to say go on your Instagram. And now Dan wants to go around the Instagram and see if she ever wore short shorts once. <laughs> Cut to the fat of it, dude. I like short Get shorts. Get down to the white meat. Nah, this dog. This man spread gash. Nah, throw dog. The, throw the Hail Mary first. Nah, dog. There you go. Look. New. Wait, why? New, new didn't come up. What? I tried nude first. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry I got flustered. I'm trying to impress our dads are here. Oh, work dads are here. <laughs> work dads are here. <laughs> They're a little late, but that's fine. They live, they live, they live with their other kid, Nikki Glazer now. Yeah. And they just come here to see us once in a while. So, our, like this. so, that, so our mom doesn't bust their balls for more child support. <laughs> there we go. There you go. We're, we're so good now. We're so good. And then when they leave, they're going to be like, hey, champs, we're going to come to your game next week. And Gosh. then they won't be there. They go, I got stuck at a work thing, man. I wanted to be there so bad. I know you did great. I know you did great, though. Like, they, go, they put me in for a minute. They go, I went, uh, can I come stay with you <laughs> in your radio show? And can I goes, stay with you and Denise? And he goes, oh, buddy, you know what? We love to, but we have that new radio show that's starting in February. <laughs> Nikki's Sorry. got a recital next Thursday. Oh, my would. God. And, you know, Nikki's got her co-host, Tom, who's also a great comic. And it's just, uh, sorry, bud. You know what? Hey, how about if I come up next live show? I go, well, I don't even know what it's going to be. We don't even have a date for anything like that yet. Maybe Moon Tower? I go, Mom says you're not, you're not allowed to go to Moon Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Mom said, can you, I was, you know, weed a lot of spaghetti. Uh, I, don't I, know. I wore my nicest Wawa sweatshirt and I turned off my weed pen. <laughs> I turned off my weed pen for this. And... And I said, we have to have topics, and we're going to have to print it out. But it's okay. Hey, you guys want to meet all my friends while you're here? You guys, guys remember my dad I told you is, about? This is John Fugel saying, this is Deb and Ben. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is... That's Eddie Trump over there, I know. Hey, Eddie.
Eddie? He's, 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 he's busy. This is Jerry, busy. This Jerry Cooney. He used to be a fighter, and he's a really nice guy. He's my friend. You guys remember Adam Goodman? He was one of the first if, DJs. He was one of the first DJs on MTV ever. Sometimes he, he clogs the hall, and Jay wants to fight him, but then we just get over it because it's he was on MTV. I get angry. I get angry. Do you guys want to see the bathroom? We have to go upstairs because the downstairs bathroom is broken. I want to show you everything. Do you guys want to add Adirondack sparkling waters? We have so many of them. There's so you get nonstop pretzel sticks. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Just, you know what? I, I, I got to get going right now. I got to do something with Nikki, but it was good seeing you guys. Hey, hey champ. Hey, Nikki's got a thing I got to get to. I promise her I'd take her to see the new Hurry. Insidious tonight. I know. We got to go see. I know you wanted to see Star Wars, but we'll see Star Wars next time, buddy. You go, no, it's okay. Dad, be honest. Did you already see Star Wars without me? Goes, ah. Yeah, but it's, it's a great movie. I'll see it again. No, that was a long ago. <laughs> We're at the How many fight. dude things my mom had to do is so funny. Oh, dude, yeah. My mom had to watch Rocky 4 and 5 in the theaters. Oh, she had to show me how to put a condom on. She showed, what? Me, she showed me another guy, though. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. No, that's true. She goes, this is Anthony. I met him at Happy Hour. Now, I, I brought him specifically because he has a good enough sausage that I can really show yeah. you how far this thing rolls down. He's what mommy calls a thick cut. Uh, um, this guy's got a real London broil on his face. Now, what you're going to do is you're kind of just like catching a big bug. Christine, please stop just watching Bruno Mars. Yeah. Yourself. We don't understand what you're doing. Christine's completely checked out with brass in the room. She goes, oh, I was just... She goes, whatever. She goes, already got the job. <laughs> Can't fire me now. They got egg on their face. We already made it a fish. <laughs> you announced it. The dotted line is signed. I can play Minesweep if I want to. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, sorry, man. I'm just governing a whole town in The Sims, but I guess this is more important. What do you guys want to talk about? Who died and you want to make fun of it? Like, oh, um, what? We're talking stepkids here. Yeah. The bastard stepkids of Comedy Central Radio, the bonfire here. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're this, definitely the one night stand kids. This article Central. that you found, uh, Black Lou? Yes, sir. This is you? Oh, man. Black this people cool. love photoshopping stepdaughter. Stories. No, this is, I think this is definitely a white dude, dude. Oh, no, no. It's definitely a white dude, for yeah. sure. This is from Brisbane. No, this is definitely a black guy being like, you know, this is some crazy white shit. This is this is crazy white shit. First of all, yeah, this, the, the headline is man guilty of photoshopping stepdaughter's head onto porn. Photoshopping? I just didn't strike me as a black stepdad's photoshopping anything. Well, also, it's just like, uh, it it's so much work. Yeah, I'd be surprised if this guy's not Asian, quite honestly. Yeah, this guy's like, well, I work at an IT company, I figured I had some time off, I uh, kind of, my stepdaughter caught, uh, you know, caught me in the right light. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this guy uh, photoshopped his teenage stepdaughter into pornographic photos involving himself. This is in Australia, right? Yeah. Yeah, Brisbane, Australia. Yeah. I, now I made it look like she was involved with me. I was already in the photo, but I made her involved in the photo. It's so great. So gross. So, yeah, I mean, all can I mean gross. Dude, his defense, his defense is hilarious. He did so because he was morally outraged about her blossoming sexuality. Yeah. Isn't that like a romance novel, like, beginning? Where he's like, she had a stepfather that didn't like she was sexual, so she ran away to the pirates. I think that's a, a recipe for complete... I mean, I don't, I don't know what the stepdaughter's like or what her story well, is at all. she's just stacked. You're like, Whoa. No, I'm almost saying that. That's got to be a rough... Like, like, I've seen in audiences, I've seen that such, that scenario a lot. What? I've seen the, the young stepmom and the young stepson with the dad... And you're just like, uh, like, I don't know, man. Like, it seems like a recipe for fucking disaster. You're saying, I've the, seen, I've seen, wait, hold on. The mm -hmm. son is the, the, is the child of the father. Mm -hmm. And then the, the stepmom is young. Yeah. I've seen like the 30, like the 50 some year old, uh, dad, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With like a 20 something year old son, like a 30 year old, like, like that is wife. And yeah. it's just like, that is like, a, eh. yeah, that's, yeah, you see, you're like, I mean, I call it out every time I see it. That is but weird. even worse is you're like, you're just kind of like, Hey, yeah, uh, that becomes more of a dad and son thing where you go, Hey son, I need you to respect boundaries. Yeah. Okay. I think on pure. Carla is my wife. Yeah. Carla, I, Carla. I, I just pulled I out of will let you smell my fingers. Yeah. Morningly. You go, Monique. Will not come into your bedroom at all. Stop calling her in the middle of the night saying you had another bad dream. I'm scared. <laughs> I need a nightlight if you want me to sleep here. The only way I can keep the ghost away is if my dick's hard and I thrust in the air. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, <laughs> come in. I need someone to watch me finish. <sighs> um, I think even more recipe for disaster though is teenage step, daughter. Just this any stepdad age. Oh, dude. 
with the smoking hot 16. I mean, it probably gets dicey at 14 for some girls, especially with how over-sexualized, like, young girls are now. And like, all the chemicals in our food and making just, bitches like, have titties by 12. How do you genuinely... I heard that in a joke. How, how, many, how much do you genuinely have to forcibly stop yourself, like, she runs by in a towel... She yeah. runs by. She runs by just like in her bra and panties so from room to room. Like, how do you not just like? Well, this becomes try to position. Like, like, you're like, I gotta, I gotta not position myself to try to see that. It's like that's an active decision you'd have to make. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, you're gonna run into an interesting thing because you have a daughter when she's a teenager. I can't fuck her. <laughs> <She's> the, <laughs> you go. I mean, I'm not. What am I? I don't have the haircut for it. I just position. Yeah, I just position myself so I can watch her run from room to room in panties. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying her friends when she's like 16, 17. Yeah, friends, friends start coming over. And it's like, American. Uh, what's you call it, right? What was the movie? Amer Beauty. Beauty. Yeah. American yeah. Beauty. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It gets it gets really weird. But this sicko just fucking <laughs> just went and photoshopped her head on the. F f Here's the thing. It's not like he took a naked woman offline and then like photoshopped it. It's pictures of him fucking women. And is here's my question: Is that what it is? Really? Is it, dude? Because listen to it. He photos involving himself. Here's a bigger question: Is it a picture of him and his and the mom? Yep, that's what I want to know. How angry are you if you're the mom and you're like, you photoshopped my daughter's face over my body when I was fucking you? I'd be furious. He's like, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, when you put it like that, Diane. It's like <laughs> young you, though, is what I'm thinking of. I'm just saying I respect your family. <laughs> I know we don't have pictures of three of us together at all. Uh, the court heard the creation of the images took place in late 2014, just months after he was given a suspended sentence for touching the same girl's genitals while she slept. So this dude's just a fucking pervert. Okay, maybe Jeez. he'll leave the guy after yeah. he's touched your right. kids. I don't know if you know Outback Wall. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a new husband in here. He's allowed to touch your daughter when she sleeps. We call that a little koala hello. Hey, midnight, midnight wet check. Uh, You're good. Uh, are you? <laughs> Sorry, got to check for spiders and snakes. <laughs> oh, and you know, any hole is a hole. I got to check your ears. And hey, you'll... wake up. Got to check your rummy. Uh, there she <laughs> is. All right, I'm out. I got to give you a little wombat pinch. <laughs> <laughs> I woke you up. Ah, uh, you get over there. You <laughs> leave Hey, gotta flick your shark fin. There uh, he is. All yeah, right, bye. So, <laughs> click check. Uh, there she goes. Ah, uh, there she's up. She's All up right, him. draw back the hood, please. All, All right. right, good night. Ah, uh, look who's up. Look who's up. <laughs> uh, oh, look who's wakey wakey. Ah, uh, who shuffled the man in the boat? <laughs> <laughs> I love weird, goofy international things. <laughs> uh, looks like someone put a strawberry on top of a dick. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, honey, honey, your mom's asleep. I have to ask you a question. Is this the right size for my age? You go, uh, All yeah. right, good. All right. All right. Go. Coach uh, check. Slap. He used Photoshop to digitally add images of the girl when she was about 13 on to the bodies of adult women engaged in sexual acts with himself. They keep saying adult women. Maybe I think he actually... Actually, they're saying he super he photoshopped himself too. Yeah, I don't I don't get if he had pictures of himself engaged in sexual activity yeah. that he photoshopped her face into, or if he found pornographic pictures and photoshopped it's like big black dick porn and just his head like. Hey, <laughs> Hi, it's me, Rich. It's Richard. I got an aborigine body. Oh yeah, I've got a real stronger body. <laughs> really give you a good. Crushing. He I got also, a body like an abo. Uh, he also created an image of her engaged in bestiality with a dog. With a dog. Yum. Oh boy. That um, is, at what point is beating off to your stepdaughter photoshopped onto a woman not enough where you go? What if he, by the way, what if it was bestiality but it was her head on the dog body? <laughs> <laughs> it's my stepdaughter dog. <laughs> That's not even gross. <laughs> Always wanted to know what she looked like. Hey. Jim and ship it. Yeah. My stepdaughter dog. And it's just the legs. <laughs> yeah. I only superimpose the legs onto I'm, a dog. I'm giving her a good rumping behind the... Uh, She's licking peanut butter off of me nuts. Oh, uh, yeah. She um, loves a jiffy. Um, I'll tell you what. This guy is really, like, a get-it-done, like, 
go the distance technically to get it finished. But I'll tell you what he does not have. A strong imagination. These all themes seem, seem like things you could just picture in your head. Yeah, you really can just jerk off. And maybe not way. have a national international article written about you. Best thoughts about thoughts? Sick thoughts? No evidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Because the Sit, guy... Watch your sleep and then go jerk off in a bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Lesser of all evils. God, at least be a polite stepdad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the man... just, watch, just watch me sleep and jerk off the way my stepfather did. Yeah, the watching jerk. It was Richard's <laughs> nightly thing. He paranormal activity to me. I would lay in the fetal position, put my butt out, give a little cute little kissy <laughs> face, yeah. make him he pop faster. He me. Yeah. He's like, hey, Jay, before your mom gets home, show me how you suck dick on this bottle. Uh, okay, yeah. Joe. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you go, oh, the, tea, the glass hurts my teeth. He's like, breathe through your nose. The man... Mm-hmm. The man, now 51, was arrested in September of 2015 after being caught with around 100 images on his hard drive and his luggage as he returned to Brisbane from a trip to South Africa. He described the photos as artworks and said there were no sexual motivation behind their creation. That would have been so Jeez, great to watch muse. to watch him backpedal at customs. <laughs> I just want to know why you've got so much child pornography on your computer. He goes, I'm an artist. Feast. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> Number two, how hilarious that she's a pug. <laughs> yeah. How about that dog thing, though? You got to admit, it's pretty clever. Yeah. Did you know a human penis could fit inside a pug? <laughs> um, Can he actually be convicted? Yeah. Because well, he's only taken her face. He pleaded guilty oh, yeah, to four man. charges, including possessing or producing child pornography material outside of Australia. And he got the old import-export. He got the... Uh, fuck, who, who's the character from Seinfeld? The fake one? Come on, Poppy. No, no, no. George Costanza, his fake name. Vandalay. Vandalay Industries, Art Vandalay. Thank you, Lou Witzke. That was a good one. He Art Vandalayed it and got ex- importing and exporting objectionable goods without approval. That's a weird thing for porn. Importing and exporting objectionable goods without approval. That seems like... They got bad coconuts. Also, a little girl blowing a man. Five things. It sucks when you catch a guy for something that you can't really put him away for too long when you know this guy is not good for the world. Like, if you're doing that... You're not good for the world, but he's only going to go away 12 months. It's not going to change him. Yeah, um, he's, he's told- already 51, by the way. I, would it be funny if, like, Australian law, like, the punishment is, like, he has to go surf the deadliest way. Like, <laughs> yeah. the, you know, the, uh, the end of Point Break? Yeah, they go, bring back the 50-year storm. <laughs> the 50-year bring back, year storm. Yeah, you have to bring a conch shell from the All 50-year right. storm. All right, the 50-year storm's coming. I need yeah, you to go surf it. I, I didn't know you guys still handed out that punishment. <laughs> That's a pretty dirty deed. It's been a while. It's been he, a while. He told the court his client, uh, his lawyer told the court... His client created the photos after his stepdaughter, then age 16, told him she was becoming sexually active with her boyfriend. It was her fault. Yeah, the judge was like, if you read on, the judge is like, that's bullshit. That's great. It's like, it's her fault, sir. She, she came back and tell me. Became a woman. Yeah. That's the problem. Um, <laughs> that's the problem. I like that it's her fault. But yeah, I know what you want to switch to, and we should. Absolutely. Yeah. Go to that, because it's going to be delightful. Because uh, so when we come back from break, i got to go to the, the, dream. Al- the, the, the Alabama chick. I okay, we'll do Alabama. Do. We'll do Dream. Oh, man, we'll do, can you remember the Dream when we come back? Yeah. I can do Dream Talk, but we're not going to get to it today. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, this video was sent to us on Twitter weeks ago, and I think I even res- responded when I was in my study drinking my chamomile tea on Twitter. I don't want to pull anything away from the fans at all, but I've definitely had this in the pocket before anyone tweeted it. Well, I'm a man of the people, and I want to say that this was tweeted to me. I'm a man of the people, too. No, I love the people. I love the people more than you I take it right to the people. Yeah, you know what I do? I uh, Photoshop the picture of people, of the people, on the bodies that I'm having sex with. Oh, everybody who comes to the camper meetup up in Austin, I'm bringing a gift for everybody. Did you do that, Dan? <sighs> you son of a bitch. I thought we were only doing meetups if we were both there. We just said, but I have to do the Austin. One. You got to, you got to catch up on Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I had a fan reach out today about Chicago, and I'm like, listen, Jay and I. Have, I said this in the DM. I was like, Jay and I just want to do. We'll just do meetups when we're both there. Oh yeah. And by the way, I don't have gifts for everyone. Okay. <laughs> 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 ah, that's fucking great. <laughs> Where's my gift? Also, they're definitely doing that anyway. No gifts. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I'm just gonna be handing out small gifts to everyone who comes to my comedy shows, <laughs> hoping they're campers, right? I'll grab a bag of hey. dumb. I'll grab a bag hey. of dum dums. Ah, do the Atel raspberry, raspberry, hey. raspberry mystery. Well, that I'll one's go, white. I'll go blow pops, which is <gasps> that, that means that put, looks like you gave a little oomph to it. I love blow pops. 
Yeah. If you get a, if you get that at a Sam's Club, that's like probably twenty five cents blow up. God damn right it is. And yeah. Easily the best suckers because there's gum afterwards. It's yeah. a double down. My kid Ernie in my school man used to make a small for. There's always the guys that ended up probably selling coke a what, little bit. Like at one thousand percent. And they actually... Did you have a candy kid in your school? Yeah. So, and by the way, sold drugs. Devin, Devin. I almost gave away his last name. But a real, like... Sold candy? Book, like, in a book bag. The school seemed okay with it for some reason? Um, I just remember him because he had Chewy Runts. Ooh, that's big. That was my shit. Chewy Runts? I fucking love Chewy Runts. Except it, banana. You can take the banana and shove it up your stepdaughter's puss. Whoa, dude. I'm I sorry. It's my new reference. I call it, I call <laughs> it a child services. <laughs> uh, well, they tweeted this at us a while ago. You've had it in your pocket. Um, this is a woman who gives 10 reasons, it's a YouTube video, a woman giving 10 reasons why you should have sex with dogs. Why you should, not that she does, dogs. but why you should. Too bad Justin Silver couldn't be here today. By the way, he'll be with me at Hasbro Heights in New oh, Jersey, okay. Friday and Saturday. Right. Go see Jay in South Carolina at the Greenville Comedy Zone. Greenville Comedy Zone, that's tomorrow, Big- tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com, and of course I'll be at Bananas, Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the 19th to 20th. Dancer.com for tickets. Now to this video of a war. I'll be with Justin Silver. He'll be opening for me. And, uh, too bad he can't be here. The Beastmaster. Too, too bad he couldn't be here to co-sign this. He goes, <laughs> like, those are all valid reasons. They do fuck very well. They're loyal lovers. <laughs> <laughs> They're loyal. And those tongues. Va, 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 boom. Why do you think it's called doggy style? Because they perfected it. They did. They can grab and push at the same time. <laughs> a, they have a push-pull motion. <laughs> They're quick jerk. There's fast twitch muscles. Yeah, they can fuck better than anything. So here's this woman who, uh, she's got pigtails in and looks like a SNL character that would describe this. So let's see the video. Um, reason number one, women in history have practiced it. There have been documented cases of ancient Romans and Greece. Plaza. In Greece. This is clearly a boyfriend tricked her into thinking that so oh, she yeah. could watch her fuck a dog. This yeah. is all <laughs> this is absolutely shitty true. boyfriend. This all true. started with the shitty boyfriend. I, I, I absolutely felt the same thing the second she started talking. Yep. Because one, she is... Way too hot to believe this. Yeah. I mean, way too hot to, like, have her own thing and be like, you know what, I'm going to start fucking dogs. She's a cute chick, for sure. She's cute. And she's like, uh, but yeah, I think that's absolutely what happened. Like, a boyfriend was like, yeah, this is something you should, no, it's totally natural. No, it's great. Baby. Don't you want to show him how good he is to you? His loyalty goes two ways. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you must do for him as he does for you. Man's best friend, because man needs to be best friend <laughs> to the dog as well. <laughs> baby, I just want to watch you go with Rover real quick. You know, Can you go with my, Rex? He's my best friend. <laughs> Mr. Skittles wants to bang you, and I kind of want to watch. You keep saying he's like, he's got dog leukemia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's his make wish Help him out. <laughs> he's supposed to live 10 years. He's only going to live six. Okay. Here's my... This is her? Mm-hmm. Whitney, Wisconsin? Mm-hmm. Who is Does she? I don't know. She's just like a YouTuber. Is she popular? She, is she on the uh, run and wanted by cops? 76,000 subscribers. Wolf. She has, <laughs> she has another video, Dog Breeds and Their Sexual Uses. Uh, yes! Well, well, that's chapter two. Let's go to chapter well, let's one go real to chapter quick. one. <laughs> uh, so maybe she just is into dogs. Uh, she's got a German Shepherd in the room with her that she keeps petting that seems to be his ears are back, which makes me feel like he's uncomfortable. Oh, uh, really? I think he's saying, <laughs> it's like, hey, wrap this video up so we can get back to fucking. <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing the tug on her arm. He's going, baby, baby. baby what are we doing here? I'm let's, losing my wood. <laughs> baby, baby, I'm losing my red rocket let's get in this little bed <laughs> i'm losing my lipstick <laughs> my lipstick's twirling back oh no lipstick's going back in the case <laughs> i'm gonna need you to get naked down less talky and more have sex with the doggy <laughs> <laughs> but i said she is she's like a she's definitely a fucking like cute chick yeah. so there's something yeah, yeah, like she's definitely cute All right. either uh or, or raging bullshit or yeah someone tricked him doing that she's trying to tell the world it really feels like shitty cool. boyfriend Robin and Greece practicing it for pleasure. Okay. Reason number two. Dogs' tongues can get in very hard to reach places, and it can feel amazing. <laughs> I have a question. Three. What's hard to reach on this chick? Yeah, how cavernous is your vagina? <laughs> yeah, it gets the hard to reach places. My clit is way up by my cervix. <laughs> Some ex-boyfriends have told me it's on the back of my tongue. <laughs> She believes everything, yeah. and then she goes, you ever see this documentary? It's called Deep Throat, starring Linda Lovelace. Yeah. Turns out her organ. She also had a clit in the back goes, of her throat. My mom says that we might be related. <laughs> Are you descended from Lovelace's? Yeah. Oh, you're a Lovelace? 
Oh, good for you. I mean, this really is, this just stinks of shitty boyfriend. You cannot get pregnant. It is impossible for a dog to impregnate a human. Meaning, you can have sex 24 7. Oh, you know what I like? What? I, you want uh, him to blow it in you? Dude. You don't I, even want to see your fucking accomplishment all over your belly and I butt? Love, I love that one of her lead points is, by the way, they can salute in you. I just love that that's like, that, that's like, that's, that, 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 that you don't stop at the thousand things wrong with fucking a dog. You go, hey, you know what's cool about it? They can bust it up on your head. The dog goes, arr, arr, arr. She goes, yes, I'm wearing an IUD. <laughs> she goes, it's okay, finish in me. He's like, yes, I want to feel it so much. She goes, I don't believe a litter starts at conception. <laughs> don't worry. I'm a puppy starts it. A puppy starts it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stop looking at me. Reason number four, you cannot get an STD, which is a huge thing nowadays. From dogs? What are you just... Are you really worried about the STD climate and dog fucking? I hope he does give her some sort of an STD. Yeah, he, goes, he goes, this stupid bitch. I told you you couldn't get anything. Like, <laughs> the welcome, dog's looking like, at Welcome him. to pussy fleas. <laughs> he, goes, <laughs> he goes, yeah, guess what? You just got heartworm. He calls her up. He goes, arr, arr, arr. she goes, oh my God, really? Mm. You fucking asshole. God damn it. Arr, arr, arr. He goes, I just got worm, heartworms. <laughs> my God. I have to get checked. Now I have to, I have to pick through my poop to see if there's maggots in it. <laughs> now I gotta sort through my own poop. <laughs> Apparently he ate some bad wet dog food. <laughs> if you, um, if you're allergic to dog sperm, that's the only way it can harm you. There's what? actually a case in, um. Wow, man, there's no allergist test for that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's not one of those hundred needles they poke you with, is it? <laughs> Dude, you're allergic like to dust, pollen, grass, hay, dog jizz, licorice. <laughs> go wait, 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 just dog cum. Dog. Oh, you can suck a pigeon. You're good. Off. Let's oh, you see what we got here. You got pig cum. You're good. Oh yeah. Feline cum. Avi avi aviary aviary cum. You're fine. Uh, feline cum. You're fine. Really, it's just canine. So just watch blowing any dogs. It's your one thing, man. Are you sexually active with any animals? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Just tell them to finish in the condom because you are not allergic to latex. And they go, hmm, or lambskin. <laughs> so maybe just double down and fuck a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe just cut the middleman out and just start fucking some lamb. <laughs> I think it was in Europe of a woman dying from allergic reaction. Well, don't five. find out by letting him come in you. Why well, also does she look like the dog bit her socks that she's wearing? She's trying to wear sexy knee-high socks. And it looks like the dog was like, she's like, no, give me those. <laughs> you find out, you find out where the dog comes, you have a hive. Like, yeah. oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. I am. I'm one of the few. <laughs> what a bad I'm way to of find course, out. Of course, I'd be the person who's what allergic a, to it. And just on the first day of our vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I know, but I like the way it feels all warm on me. We'll still go to the Alpo factory. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see how it's made too. <laughs> Curious about the process. Of time, there have been <clears throat> there have been crit, uh, crit, there have been cave paintings of it. Oh, so she's reading a list that someone else wrote for. Her. <laughs> yeah, 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 she's clearly reading a list. Also, she's on the bathroom floor. One recording. of the reasons is there's cave paintings is a great reason for it. You go, no, oh, baby, the old cavemen used to paint women fucking dogs, so it's cool. Total cool. It's legal in some countries and states, so you can enjoy it. Will you, will you stop by here on the first? It's, I mean, fact check that, Christine. I mean, don't even check countries. State. Don't fact check countries because some countries have no, but fact check they have any states. Yeah. Yeah, you have to say there's legal no. dog fucking, and I will look in the real estate there. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to open my biggest kennel there. I just don't trust myself that I'll never do it, and if I do ever fall victim to that situation... I at least want to be covered legally. I'm going to be Dan Soder's doggy ranch. <laughs> hey, dog rape lawyer, Dan Soder. Pleasure to meet you. Bestiality in the in the United States is legal in Texas. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait. Where is it legal? Texas, Nevada. The red ones? Yeah. 
Air, thank God Colorado's blue. Ohio, it's legal to fuck a dog? Thank God Colorado's blue. Hey, I really had to hold my breath. I'm in this. Liberty, Ohio uh, next month, I believe. So bring your dogs. I'll fuck it. Oh, bring all your <laughs> sluttiest dogs. Oh. First girl to fuck a dog in front of me in Ohio wins a free bonfire t-shirt. Yeah! yeah. What's the one in the, uh, is that Vermont? Mm, I don't know. Seems like a place to let you fuck a dog. What? Turn out this goofy bitch is right. You can't fuck dogs in the United States. What is that? Where? How is bestiality legal at all in the United States? When I want to be naughty. Yeah, Jacob, we get uh, it. Yeah, there's no carbs in that. Yeah. Dog jizz? If dog you're an allergic. Oh, it's yeah. Protein That's not a cheat day. Nah, you throw that into a, you throw that into a kale shake, salt it up a little bit. <laughs> you kidding me? Your gains will go off the map. <laughs> <laughs> my max is up. <laughs> my bench max. A lot of definitions what's going the, on. What state is that up there? Vermont. It is Vermont. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Figures. Yeah, hippie dippy assholes. <laughs> oh, let me uh, get, yeah. I'm well, lost in the woods with my dog. Yeah, when you're a girl with hairy armpits and hairy ass crack, you gotta fuck dogs. <laughs> you're halfway there. <laughs> yeah, the dog only thinks he's fucking a wolf anyway. <laughs> um, alright, let's go back to everybody. Nevada? How yeah. is that not hap- How is Vegas? That makes sense. Not have a fucking dog fucking show somewhere. I bet it did. It did. I bet. It does. But they stopped it. Why? It's not illegal. They shut it down. I was the MC. Oh my god! <laughs> it was Wayne Newton's after show. <laughs> hey everybody! Hey, you want to watch a dog go at it with a lady? Oh Come my god! Don Quixote. That's my that personal girl. dog. His name's Angel. Everybody. <laughs> like but like not like a girl angel. Like you know. One of those browns. Yeah. Like a Hispanic. Like a Hispanic angel. Look at him go, too. <laughs> He's really wailing on her. Anyways, don't forget. Two for one at the buffet. Oh, my God. Christine, <laughs> if you're not looking up Bruno Mars, you're looking up donkey shows in Las Vegas. Christine, you have a job. <laughs> this isn't just R&R. All you don't the have time. to side work donkey shows anymore. <laughs> yeah, she we... never did the show. She was cleanup crew. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be a rough. Oh, yeah. Those donkeys come a lot, and she is allergic. <laughs> That's what she tells me. Legal in some countries and states. True. So you can enjoy it pretty much without worry, other than... Um, Judgmental people and religious people. That's pretty much all I have to worry about. Reason number seven. Some people like to think of it as a kink. <clears throat> you are fully, like you are fully submissive to a wolf or canine. Some people like to think of it like that. It's some kind of, it's something that most people wouldn't do. Ah, uh, yeah. Some people like to think of it. I, I, I would, I would I didn't go even with hear that. a word she said that. that was she really much just, to me. She just said, um, it's considered a kink being dominated by a wolf or a dog. And she's like, yeah. <clears throat> most people are against that. And you're like, Yo, yeah, yeah, you're fucking an animal. It's pretty ridiculous how she has, judgmental uh, people get close minded. I'm just so sick of the right being like, you can't <laughs> fuck a dog. And you go, I got to I'm sorry. I am pretty liberal. I got to draw a line here. Uh, this is the right. I don't all. think this is. Yeah. She goes, seriously, why don't we just normalize the sexuality between me and a thing that ages seven years is <laughs> <laughs> Seven times the speed. speed Reason idea. number five: Don't get high on your own supply. Reason, Reason number, number six: <laughs> Family and business don't mix. Like two dicks and no chick. Find yourself in serious shit. Okay, this is the Ten Crack Commandments. She's a porn star. Oh yeah! Does she pee in her own mouth at all? Yeah! Oh, how did I not know that was in her range? Of course, pissing in her own mouth. Christine, play her peeing in her own mouth, please. <laughs> By the way, every hey, time, is she every, time she, every time she says something that she uh, that she's, that's go disgusting, go down to the, peeing in her own mouth. No, pee in your own mouth again for saying something like Hold that. Hold on, but go to the front, go to the beginning of it because I want to see what she does if she tries to do like this is a medicinal experiment. That's gonna be on my website. I'm gonna pee on my face. Thanks guys for watching my videos. I mean. I, she definitely has a video of her fucking a dog then somewhere. I mean, I mean on the dark web. Yeah. Why? I've seen videos of <laughs> girls fucking dogs on my da- my daily gonna, routine website. How is she gonna piss like this? Dan, don't worry about it. She's a pro. Yikes. She goes, now I have the bends. I came up pretty fast from a scuba trip. <laughs> and I don't have any glasses. So. I mean, 
This girl, I'm impressed by because I'd be locking up right now. I'd be like, guys, can you turn the camera off? Well, so is she, sort of. Uh, I don't think so. Ah! Come on! Oh, she's pissing right in her mouth. She's pissing. Jay got a standing ovation. Jay I could come to that. Yeah. What's wrong with all? Is it? Is, am I the problem? Yeah. I am think I? So. Yeah, I think so, dude. You that. guys are so reacting to that, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I've seen them. A zillion piss videos like that before. I've, well, I can honestly say I have it. You ever watched the video of a girl pooping just no. to see it? No, no, well, me neither. Then, <laughs> but if that's something you like to see, uh, it's called collegegirlspoop.com. Uh, well, let's go back to our video of reasons. I mean, <laughs> this is all wait, wait, over. Wait, if she gets in the mouth, the balloon grows. <laughs> <laughs> Does the horse move faster if she fucking hits her face? <laughs> You were so goes, beautiful. <laughs> That'd be great. She goes, so, so well timed, Lil. And then she drinks damn. her piss and she just goes, okay, back to working out. She goes, mmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like Gatorade. She goes, I gotta stop drinking. I gotta start drinking more water. She goes, that is warm. Why didn't you tell me it's so warm? Should we take our last break? Yeah, okay. And then we'll come back with the other video. Yeah, Christine, we stop even, webcamming girls. We didn't even Jesus finish, Christ. we didn't even finish your 10 reasons. No, I know we'll get back into them. But then we got to, what about the Alabama video? We'll get to it. Okay. We're going to take our last break. Or maybe we'll come back to this. I mean, our, I don't think our reasons hold much validity. If you want to jump right away from this, we can, buddy. The Alabama girl is pretty fun. It's a quick break. Two minutes. You're a quick break. All right. You're the one who's quick break. Sorry, I'm lashing out at everybody today. Uh, you know, we're going to stay on this because when we come back from break, Nick from Pittsburgh says his ex-girlfriend fucked a dog. Got to hear it. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back, everyone, at the bonfire. <laughs> And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Black Lou knows every single word. I forgot that NSYNC had such subtle, violent references where they're like, I'll fight you. And you're like, okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah. Who are you sending out first? Was, uh, was that, what was that? The smither, not the smithereens. What was that? Uh, Lumineers? Something, something. Marilyn Manson, step right up. We'll kick your asses in. Uh, yeah. Uh, new Radicals. <laughs> it's the new Rad Cat. Yeah, the new Radicals. Yeah. You go, I will fight all of your record store asses <laughs> right now. Hey, fucking. Hey, hi fi. Yeah. <laughs> These call us pussies. We are, we we are, are no, awake now. We are no pussies. We are no pussies. Oh, yeah. We are awake. Oh, yeah, the new radicals. Oh, fucking Jack. That Jack He's skinny awake. Matt Pinfield up. <laughs> Stop releasing all the animals, idiot. Take a ride. Take a fucking run at me, Mo Moby. Yeah. Early onset male pattern baldness, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cool cul-de-sac at 22. Let's get back to the dog fucking. Yeah, Lou. Marilyn Manson will kick your asses in. Thanks for being the voice of reason. What an internal battle's going on here. Jacob wants no more dog fucking. He goes, stop. You're really getting me going. Uh, he's really, yeah. He's, this he's is like, my thing. I'm going to finish on the air. Oh, God, I can't. You just go back. There's just all these old tapes of Lassie where you're like, hey, Jacob, what's up with this? And he goes, this is nothing. <laughs> I'm uh, into Shelby's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nick in Pittsburgh's on the phone, claims his ex-girlfriend fucked the dog. I hope this isn't just like, I hate that bitch. I bet she did. And they're making up a story. Is this very real, Nick? Oh, Crackle Crackle, by the way. It is crackle, crackle. very Crackle real. Crackle, dude. <laughs> she, when she was a teenager, she told me they had a family dog that was a German shepherd. Yeah, that's the one that gets all the and puss. You sure this wasn't photoshopped by her stepfather? Yeah. So how good is her stepdad with Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> But she would have to she would have to bait it with treats to mount her. Because really? she couldn't just get it to fuck her, she'd have to get treats. How, that makes sense. Would, would she put like a headband with like a little contraption on it to put like a milk bone? Oh, it's great. Well she said she would have to use like the the beef stick treats and she'd actually put it into her pussy. I don't believe it. He would try to eat her out. That I swear. Oh, to I was going to say you're saying the mounter though. I'm like, does he? What, would he fuck the dog treat? Into her. <laughs> into her. He goes, you know, it's better than eating a dog treat. Fucking a dog treat. Did uh, was she excited to let you know that the dog finished inside of her because there's no fear of pregnancy at all? Mm, did she know the science behind it? <laughs> well, she said that the German Shepherd's dick would get 
like a knot when it was going to come, and so she'd have to take it out. Otherwise, she would just be stuck until it got soft again. Oh, then they got to blow them apart with a fire hose. I've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> I get a lot of dark web pornography. Um, oh, that's me. Have to get a machine called a Malaystrom. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, oh, that's actually. Like, oh, does that, you know what? Tell your ex girlfriend there's actually a tool for that now. It's uh, in the dog fuck world. They de they developed it years ago called a. Um, <laughs> Uh, so this is uh, well. Thank you for calling in, Nick. Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely, dude. I hope your girlfriend, you know, is okay now. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, wait, is Nick still on the air? Nick, you there still? I'm. Yeah, I'm here. Did you? How on? Yeah, how I had long? more questions for Nick. For uh, sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. I almost did that. How far into the relationship did you find out that she fucked a dog? Um, as soon as it became sexual. So like you guys, it was a Tinder quote. Yeah, was, I fucked a dog. Ask me what's next. You might be next. Kick num, kick name. Because is. I actually, I have a dog, and she said, "Well, if you want to get weird, I could try to have the dog eat me out." And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" That's a weird thing to bring up. But you did feel right away. You're like, "This bitch is down." There you go. Oh, hey, you had that date? There you go. Oh, she <laughs> is a. Point. She's a dirty bird. If or she says, you want hey, your dog. dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, if you bring up to your boyfriend, maybe your dog could eat me out, man. Do you know how far? Dude, you can ask. I bet you stayed with that girl a little bit longer based off what she was willing to do. There was no no's. There was no no. Oh, that's so great. I mean, that would just terrify me because I'd be like, what happened? There's no no's. What happened to her? She fucked a German Shepherd, Dan. She got yeah. stuck to it. Yeah, I don't, you don't just start there, Jay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you think of something else? Maybe like just like some like hermit crab on the clit or yeah. something? She goes, mm. <laughs> she goes, this chinchilla looks like he means business. You start with hamsters. Get that ferret in me. Rodents. Oh, wow. Any other questions for Nick? I, uh, yeah, what made you ultimately break up? She left you for a beagle. Yeah. She, he goes, uh, a mastiff moved in down the street. I'm sorry, but the heart wants is the heart wants. Uh, there's just, I have to leave you. I met someone. He's a red golden retriever. His name's Biscuit. Maybe you can learn a little bit from his loyalty, Nick. He listens. Yeah. I say, come here. He comes here. He doesn't freak out when I ask if he wants a dog to eat my pussy. Oh, like sure. Like you, you wimp. Oh, you pussy. <laughs> yeah, sure. He hates high whistles. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> They're still together because the dog can't get past the electric fence. <laughs> yeah. She's got an electric collar. So he's pretty much trapping her. What made you guys break up? Uh, well, I found out that if you fuck dogs and you're a teenager, there's other issues that come along with that. Oh, uh, I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, she's feeling. not a lady of the lake. Sorry. <laughs> no. I, you thought he found the perfect woman. Yeah, a little unstable probably coming to that one, he huh? Goes, well, she doesn't care for the Raiders, but she fucks dogs. Yeah, when a girl says, do you want your dog to eat me out? You go, yeah, yeah, I do. But then you go, this girl's probably going to kill me one day. <laughs> Yeah, you don't. I do go. not want to fall asleep. I bet you do not fall asleep comfortable next to her, Nick. Or when you do it, you go. I cannot wait to tell our children about this. <laughs> Your mom, quite a little local circus performer, if you don't mind saying. She was, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but your mom, an animal lover. I just missed. The phone lines are lighting up with dog fuckers right now, Dan, by the way. Uh, Nick, thanks for the call, buddy. Oh, thanks man. for having me, guys. Absolutely, welcome, dude. Nick. Great fucking call. You have just opened up a wormhole. Boy, did he. Um, now we have, what's her name? Whitney what? Whitney, Wisconsin. I still, I think I date her tomorrow. I, I really don't have a problem with this chick and her weird stuff. <laughs> I mean, I have a problem with it, but it all seems super fun. Yeah. I mean, for like a few months. Nothing crazy. Oh, then it gets fun. And every night she no. says I, that I tell her she can sleep over, I'm going to have a thing. I'm going to have a thing in the morning, but I'll, I'll Uber you home. <laughs> uh, no, I can't let a dog fuck her. Yeah, every time she's like in the bathroom, I'm like, she goes, can I use your bathroom? I'm like, yeah, the tub's on the right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you go, are you going to go drink your piss? She goes, waste not, want not. I'm, all recyc I'm been into recycling. <laughs> waste not, want not. It's hot and salty. Hot and salty. Hot salt. Uh, this is her talking about different breeds. Me with questions, and this video is going to be to answer them, but I am also going to show you the sexual uses of dogs according to their breeds. Yes. We are going to begin with the fuck fuckers and lickers. <laughs> fuckers and lickers. I have German Shepherds, Australian Shepherds, <laughs> Rottweilers. Oh, Rottweiler! Doberman. Oh, yeah. Doberman. BBC. <laughs> Yo, dude, he's got Look at the dog. No, no, go, 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 go back. Go back. Did you see the fucking pig on that dog? Look at that thing. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a human dick. <laughs> 
Boxers. I was going to go white guys. Lab. <laughs> Zoo Retriever. Chows. Okay. Ew. The Great Pyrenees. Yeah. Huskies. If you got the money. Oh, there's eyes. Great Danes. Ooh, mm-hmm. size mm-hmm. queen. And the Alaskan Mialamute. Oh, Mialamute. <laughs> Mialamute. <laughs> <laughs> The liquors are going to be all small, like Jack Russell's. Yeah, it's going to be all the small dogs. Carriers. Ah, it's like the cruiserweights. You, cannot, you could not sit comfortably Hugs. while a Doberman fucking licked your pussy. Right, You're like, right. if this guy decides to just <laughs> clamp on me, like, I'm done. <laughs> like, mm, mm, mm. Kai, just side tooth it, too. <laughs> she goes, I need something I can crush with my thighs. <laughs> oh, he gets his, one of his back teeth caught in her push so, clip. So these are more of the liquors. Terriers. The terriers. Mm-hmm. Dachshunds. Oh. Wiener dogs. Boston Terriers. Oh. You don't want to fuck that Pomeranians. Thing? Look at that puss. Oh, you wouldn't fuck that little Pomeranian. Oh. Yorkies. And miniature poodles. Oh, look at that puss. <laughs> I have been with about four fuckers and three lickers. Yeah. Mom has a shepherd mix that she shares with me, but I've also tried a pit bull and... Did she say my mom has a shepherd mix she shares with me? Yeah. I, yeah. She did Wait, say are that. these dog dicks? Yes. It is. Dan, can we? All right, guys. I know we have. Uh, I know we have. Uh, I know it worked out. Can our merch be dog dick dildos? Yeah. Please, can we do dog dick dildos? Balloon head. Oh, Dad, man. we only get Please. to see you guys once in a while. Oh, Please, can we do dog dick dildos. We know you guys are gonna make shirts for Nikki's quicker than you make shirts for us. <laughs> can we have dog dildos? Please have dog dildos. Ah, oh, dude, we're... Nikki Glazer presents dog dick dildos. Get the God, fuck out! God. That's terrible. You know we said it. How are they? You know we said it. They're leading the week off selling those? <laughs> it's week off. Come on. It's the release party gift. Oh. <laughs> they got a Pyrenees? <laughs> oh. Rottweiler and a Pyrenees? That's funny. She goes, this is an Irish setter dick. And he goes, well, good luck, Irish setters are liquors. Yeah. I guess you know that from your show. Yeah, I guess. Oh, if you would have created the bit on your show, you probably would have known that. Yeah, you would have known they're in the category fuckers and liquors. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go try to piss in my own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living that with Whitney, Wisconsin life. Goes, Wait a second. You try to piss up in your mouth, and you go, no, I was inverted. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I think I bring back that Top Gun reference. Uh, we it. were inverted. inverted. Uh, let's go back to her video. He has a shepherd mix that she shares with me, but I've... Okay, so this is... Oh, no, it's compared to... So it's average male... Dog and horse penis bo- size. Well, I was saying, a, bo- a, a border collie... A border collie has about is the same six. size of a of a dude, of an average male dick. Yeah, and then... Um, a German Shepherd... Uh, is a large... Is a similar size to a large man's dick. Here's where it gets wow. fun. Wow. A dog, a Great Dane, which has a 10-inch piece, is uh, a little smaller than a pony... 14 inch piece. Pony, 14 inches. A stallion, mm-hmm. medium, 22 inches. And finally, for the real Catherine the Greats out there, <laughs> what's the bottom one? 28. 28. Christine, Christine, Christine can't see because she's ordering it on Amazon right now. <laughs> uh, she's got, is she starry eyed? She's like, I might as well just do the stallion. <laughs> I mean, I'm here. Stallion large. I mean, I'm on the site. How am I making on the site again? I'll probably crash my home computer. I don't want to come back. <laughs> Plus delivery this time of year. Oh, you think you think you just send out for this chart? She's like, I have dude, a web guy. Dude, if we could have dog dildos. Dog dick dildos, dude? Oh, Great Danes? Give me a, a Great Dane in a, in a border collie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing crazy. <clears throat> it's like a rabbit. And you're going to stick in the border collie. It's probably too small. Try the butt. Um, you can't see your face on the radio. God. <laughs> but I love it. I uh, can see doy. it. So let's go back to our video. Yeah, we have to go soon. Yeah, let's finish this. It's a minute left. I just found this. You just found one. Yeah! Different dog penis canine dildo. It says Clifford dog. Yeah, big Clifford red. Clifford dog penis canine dildo. Oh, that's not bad. Wow, those are sharp dickheads, huh? Complete with a knot at the base. Oh, um, that's not... Those are different from ours. Dads, those are different from ours. <laughs> work dads, I don't want... Those are the stupid ones. Work dads, we want the CC on them. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I get the Comedy Central logo. It was, I don't get what the reference is, though. He goes, no, no, there's no reference, man. There's no dog, reference. Just dog dildos. Yeah. Wait, are they dildos for dogs? I don't know, man. Dogs, people, whatever you want to use it for, man. I'll tell you what, if you're going to dildo a dog, though, you better move to fucking Texas. You really better move to yeah. Vermont. Or you better spend some time in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. You better be doing this in uh, outside of Reno, or else you're going to have some problems. You better be in Carson City if you're banging any dogs. Uh, let's watch the rest of the video. Pitbull and a Roddy as well. And the pit bull was definitely my favorite. Of course. Of course. Now, let's move on to some questions. So the pit bull didn't have a job, hey, Whitney, but he was such a good I, rapper. He, is, he was like, he had impeccable style. He had like a really good flow that I know eventually he's going to make it. Yeah. I've seen your videos and was wondering which dog licks the best. The best breed in the liquors category, I would say the Jack Russell Terrier, because for being... By the way, pause. I, that was, by the way, that was... A real, she just showed with a blurred out name, a real question she's gotten from a girl saying what dogs are the best lickers. If you're on the internet looking for information on what's awesome about fucking a dog, yeah. and you find this girl, you are like, it's an emotional day for you. Like, finally, someone I can talk to. Who do I ask a question like this Whitney, to? Whitney, you are my inspiration. Um, <laughs> And I remember watching, um, you know, different cartoons, specifically the um, uh, Puppy Patrol. And, wait, what was the other one? What was the old, uh, the Pound? Pound Puppies? Pound Puppies. Hell yeah. I used to watch Pound Puppies and just wish I could fuck them. And knowing that you've done it, you're such an inspiration to me. You made it happen. You made it happen for me. It's the best website for dog dick dildos. Dog dick dildos. I'm going to work my way in. I want one with a knot at the bottom and maybe a CC logo. <laughs> Is it better to fuck a dog from, like, a breeder or, like, a rescue? Yeah. Mm, how can I lure them? Dry food or wet food? It's like, well, a rescue dog will fuck you a little angrier. They've been through some shit. They usually lived in drainage places. <laughs> They've seen a lot of stuff. Usually on the side of the roads. <laughs> we can leave the rest of this video. Yeah, absolutely. Big J um, is going to be in South Carolina at the Greenville Comedy Zone. Cackalack. Cackalack. This, uh, that's tomorrow through Saturday. So go get tickets at BigJComedy.com if you're in the Greenville, South Carolina area. Um, tell them again that uh, something to wrestle with. Bruce Pritchard, live at Barclays Center, Friday night, January 19th, as part of the doubleheader with the Brooklyn Nets. Right after the game, there's going to be a live something to wrestle with. Bruce Pritchard. Tickets start at $35. can be purchased at boxofgimmicks.com. Dan Soder is going to be at Bananas in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, now with Justin Silver. Goddamn right, the Beastmaster. Um, if you're judging by any kind of artwork about it, co-headline. <laughs> January 19th and 20th. Get your tickets for that and all Dan's great shows at dansoder.com. As always, follow us at the Bonfire SXM yeah, on actually, Facebook. I put Chicago and St. Louis up on the website yesterday, so Dude. boom. Tickets. Jay's going to be at uh, Ship Rock, so we're going to be on vacation next week, but we will be back. We got an awesome... Uh, an awesome, fun yeah. Lost Tapes for you tomorrow. Great Lost Tapes tomorrow. Luke, Luke confirmed that today. Got it. Woo! Oh, Woo! It's lit. We love you guys. It's lit. Enjoy your week off of our bullshit. Yeah, crackle, crackle. <laughs>